Hey guys, this is Nabeen here. Welcome back to Nabeen Automation Labs and back to our uh, test rigor series. So if you remember in the last session, we have uh, seen that how to parameterize your uh, test, right? Like for example, you can give your own rows and number of columns and uh, you can supply the data directly from the data or directly from the test data table. For example, if this is a test that we have written, if you remember, and then uh, the if you see the quick edit we were actually filling this particular registration form i'll show you the form as well so we were filling this registration form we want that number of users let's see one or two users should come automatically from the test data so in the last session these are the variables that we created first name last name telephone password and everything we were clicking on continue and we were seeing that check that the account is really created successfully or not but what if i really want to maintain one csv file and I really want to supply the test data from the CSV. Can we do that? Because it's easy in the real time projects to provide the data directly in the test data uh, section. Better we provide the data in the CSV, maintain the CSV, n number of rows you can maintain that, and then you can just give the data directly from there. So, what we can do, we can just no need to change anything in the script. Directly we go to the uh, test data folder or test data section over here. So, let's go to the uh, test data here. And then after that, what I'll do here, I'm going to create one, another variable data set variable that I'm going to create. So last time we created this particular register data and uh, these are the variables like columns and these are the rows that we created, row number one and row number two. Row number one we created for, let's see, Tom and row number two we created for some other user. But this time what we will do, this time we will try to create a new data set. So I'm just going to click on add and then the new data set that I'm going to create. Let's see, this is my register CSV data and then add it here. And then I really want to create the variables and the rows. So what we will do, we will just simply create one CSV file here now. So I have already prepared one CSV file. You see that the first row should be your column names, first name, last name, email, telephone, and the password. And whatever the data that you really want to supply, you can comma separated values. You can supply it here. You can generate this particular test data from chat GPT or from anywhere. So three rows I'm maintaining. The first row is always the column name, the variable names, right? So this is what that I have created register CSV, which is available in my documents folder. And now I'm going to upload this CSV file. So I simple say, click on add and uh, let's go to the variable and then click on add it here. Or let's go to the rows directly and click on add and upload the CSV here and select your browse your computer register.csv that I'm going to select it continue to filtering it so you see that okay only selected headers that you really want to maintain no or use all the columns yes all the columns that I really want to maintain first name last name email telephone and the password three rows are displayed here so it will automatically recognize from the csv file all the column names that you have given exactly same column names will be given here and this is the these are the three different data or rows are available here. After that, you simply click on continue. It says, okay, continue to preview. It's fine. And then import now. So when you click on import now, you see that, okay, three rows are available. Row number one, row number two, row number three here. Perfect. And then after that, we will go to our, our script. So I'll do one thing. I'll open this test cases in the new tab. And uh, now I'm going to link that particular CSV file with this particular test. So how to link it in the last session also we discussed link the data set here and here it says that which link register data or register csv so i really want to link with my register csv it says it has five variables and three groups means uh, three rows are available and simple link it that's it and then close it after that i quickly check by our test here make sure that okay the variables that that you're using first name last name email telephone password exactly having the same variables that we are using it here first name last name email telephone password here so same thing i'm using first name last name i hope you guys can see this email telephone password password and confirm password will remain same click on the radio button checkbox for the privacy policy click continue and check account has been created successfully or not so like we are just filling this entire registration form with three rows are available right and then after that I'm just going to run it. So simple update and rerun. So let's see, is it really working or not? It should pick the data directly from the CSV file. So let's see, is it uh, really going through or not? 
okay let's wait for a few seconds it is still says that uh, okay let me just okay we can just simple retest it again from here and now it is started it says that uh, the test scenario is in the progress okay right now it's blank so three rows will be displayed here let it start then we will see okay it is still opening the first page now i think it got started and then you see that it will be very quick and it will fill the registration form according to the data that we have supplied okay so it's clicking on continue and you can see that three rows are available for john doe jane smith and mike brown and whatever the data that we are supplying it should enter that we can validate here you see that here the john doe data is actually applied here and then after that click on continue same thing for other guys also jane smith also is still working and uh, mike brown also is still working yellow color means the overall test suite is still running and all three are coming in the red color i mean coming in the red color means something got failed so let's see what happened here so maybe the duplicate email id it says yeah email id is already taken it means in my csv email id is already taken so let's try with the unique email id so what i'll do one thing i'll just simple uh come back here and let's go to the rows we will update the email id quickly and then i'll show you that how to supply the random email id also or unique email id also how to supply that so i'll just do one thing john dot do example dot com here i'm writing let's see test dot com and uh, save it same thing for the second row also i'll be doing it so let's go to the row number two and instead of jane smith i'm writing let's see this is my test dot com and then save it after that i'm going to write the third one also i'm deliberately showing first the error because you will get to know that obviously is it really identifying that particular problem or not the test should be failed right that's why you see that okay all three rows are coming in the red color test got failed here now we have updated the rows with the email id i'm going to rerun it again this time it should be passed so let's see what happens okay so let it run once again it still says opening the first page is still in the yellow color and uh, wait for a few seconds and then Sometimes it gets stuck over here, then you can just simply refresh this entire page and then you will get to know how exactly it is running it here. Okay. So let me just open this. It's still in the progress. And now you see that the first one is okay, second one got passed, third one got passed. It is still running the first one. But let's see what happened with the second row. Do you see that? Okay, yes, absolutely working fine. Your account has been created successfully. You see that which email ID it's, it has entered jane.smith at the rate test.com that whatever we have given, it is actually entering directly from there. Right. So yeah, you see that, okay, all three rows are absolutely working fine. The first one is still getting failed. Maybe the first one is still having the, maybe the in my database, the email ID is still there, but that's okay. Right. So what we can do, or maybe we can just, uh, but this is the problem that every time the email ID is getting failed, and because of email ID, the test is getting failed. What if we can supply the random email ID? Just like we do it in Selenium Java, right? The faker email IDs, we can use it or generate the, you know, the unique email ID or random email ID through some random string or something like that. We have to write the code here. But in the test trigger, we don't need to write that. See, I'll show you how to do this. So simple quick on, quick edit. And this is the email ID that I really want to supply the unique email ID. What we will do, we will go to their documentation. And let's search for the, okay, I'm searching for the random email ID kind of concept. It is available or not. So let's write random email. You see that, okay, it says generate the random email in the test rigormail.com domain, or you can generate any domain. You can use this particular domain also, or you can use this line also. It will always generate the random email ID with test rigor hyphen mail.com, or you can use this one also here. You can give your own uh, domain as well. But let's see, I'm going to use this one, copy this example, and then simple come back here. And then I'm going to write it something like this. It says that generate the unique email, then enter into what? Enter into e hyphen mail. And I don't want to save it as a variable. Simple remove this line from here. That's it. And then I don't need this line. So I simple say generate the unique email. It will always generate the unique email, then enter into the email field. That's it and then validate and save. But what should I do now from my test data? 
let me remove this particular email field from there right so i'm just going to do one thing i go to variables and rows once again and uh, from the rows let me delete that particular email field so i can just do one thing let me go back to the data set register csv and this email that i'm going to delete from here so when i delete this particular column name or the variable name it should be deleted from all the rows also now you see that first name last name telephone and the second one is also the email is gone and from the third row also the email is gone from there now this data is always fixed it is always entering the uh, this particular data with the random email id that we have given there now let's try to run it and this time all my test cases should pass. so let's retest it again so this is like it's really great feature generally you won't see these kind of features in other you know codeless automation tool they have thought a lot that okay how to supply the data from the csv or if i really want to generate the random email id or any random string it's not about only random email id you can generate any random phone number also you see that random ssn number random visa credit card random url or random alphanumeric data if you really want to generate you can generate it here okay so let's see this time what happens now you see that i think all my test cases are absolutely working fine for all the rows you see that all are coming in the green color three rows are absolutely working fine for all three rows your account got created here but let's see what kind of email id it actually entered it says okay some random email id at the rate test rigor hyphen mail.com if you don't want to use test trigger hyphen mail.com then generates a random email id in the custom domain you can give your own domain name also you can write this particular line generator from the template like generate from the template this then enter into email and then if you don't want to save it as a variable you can remove that as well so let's try that i'm just going to use this one copy this this time i'll do one thing again quick edit and i'll say here that uh, generate from the template this one and then instead of test rigor hyphen mail.com I'll say Naveen Automation Labs dot com. Then enter into e hyphen mail. This is the very uh, this is the field name, right? And uh, that's it. Let me remove this line from here. Okay, so generate a template from here, and then after that, that's it. Make sure that okay, the domain name is like this. You can decrease the length of the initials also. That is okay. I'm just using it like this, and then simple validate and save. And then I'm going to rerun it again. So let's see this time it's generating the email with my domain name with NaveenAutomationLabs.com. Okay. So likewise, you can generate any random string, see random text description. If you really want to generate random alphanumeric data or random URL, random credit card, random SSN number, area code, anything you want to generate, you can use it here. Okay. So looks like uh, perfect. It's absolutely working fine. And then see this. All three rows are working in the parallel mode and absolutely working fine here. And you can check what kind of email it actually got entered. You see that this is the email got entered at the rate nal.com, nabinautomationlabs.com. Perfect. So no hard code it, nothing. And then now you see that the test case looks very, very clear now. And uh, it's actually validating the whole registration form, like the registration is successfully done or not. And then we are passing the data from the csv also here so after that you can just supply n number of data you can maintain here sorry n number of rows you can actually maintain here and then you can just simply supply it can behave like a data dumping tool also you can just simply dump n number of users maintain the csv file from here and then just simply enter the value there as well through automation you don't need to write any single line of code here so i hope this is clear that how to do the data driven testing from the csv file okay first of all it's going to the test okay let me just go back to the errors once again or we can go to the reports actually error means like in last couple of runs how many errors are there but in the last run all three test cases got passed here without any problem that's it so this is absolutely working fine with good reporting it will automatically send the email notification also and that's it and you're really interested to do a poc on this test trigger and if you really like it there is a 15 percent discount link available in the description of this video you can use this tool and then the sales team of this particular team will contact you directly and then you can just start using it so you can showcase this tool to your management and then start learning and then super easy learning curve 
and it's very great to start using it. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.